take us a little bit behind the scenes. Um, when this started to seem like it was going off the rails, were there ever any doubts inside the White House? Was there ever a conversation about maybe we should just pull this one and try with someone else? We have a long list of conservative jurists here. There wasn't. We were 100% with Judge Kavanaugh. And I think at a certain point it became bigger than Judge Kavanaugh. We, it, it hit you know, fundamental notions of fairness for this country, innocent until proven guilty. And so, and, and that's when you saw people really rallying and coming uh, to his defense. Let me ask you about that, because the president yesterday said that he had been proven innocent by this process. Mm -hmm. Those were his words, proven innocent. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with this? I uh, mean, this was yes, not I, a court of law. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. Well, yeah, but he was being tried in the court of public opinion uh, in a very unfair way. And certainly with the statements that were submitted to the FBI, the sworn statements and, and the investigation that they did, I think Senator uh, Grassley said it in a statement that there was not even a hint of misconduct. So you believe Dr. Ford was lying? I believe that Dr. Ford had something happen to her at some point. But she said she was 100% certain. So if you don't accept, you know, that, that Kavanaugh was involved with what happened to her, you'd, you'd say she's lying. The problem is... She had no corroboration whatsoever. In fact, the people, as you know, the people who she said uh, to have been there all said they have no recollect recollection of such party. Even her lifelong best friend said, I don't know what that party is. I don't even know Judge Kavanaugh. And then you saw the Wall Street Journal report that came out, I think, I think it was last week, that said um, that she was pressured into even changing her story. And so there was no corroboration. And Judge Kavanaugh, we, we believe him.